Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Chris Kirby with Best Damn Powder Coating and Insane Imports. This is episode three of the Case Swap Honda Acti truck. Today we're gonna to be diving into the motor mounts, truck side and engine side, the fabrication that we're gonna to have to be doing to make the two work together and everything that falls in between. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the show. Roll the intro. So in order to get the first one where we want it to be, we're going to, we're going to line this up and we're going to center it up and then we're going to mark center of these holes with a Sharpie marker. Now, after we do that, we're going to take a punch and a hammer on that center mark. And we're going to strike it. This is going to give us a small indention for both holes. That way, when we start drilling through with our eighth inch drill bit, it doesn't start dancing around, wobbling around. We'll have a nice center point to shoot through and then we'll start making the hole bigger and building up to the size that we need. We're gonna cut this off. We are going to cut a slit in the bed down here to receive this, drop it down, and at the end, we'll weld all of this into the bed itself, and we'll do a fill-in, anything between the high points and the low points. This is gonna be up here. The factory one's gonna sit down there, and the bracket that we were working on earlier is gonna be the connecting points between the two. It's grinding time. Time to grind. All right, we got the bed notched to receive our motor mount. Mount, this is temporary. I'm putting a self-tapper in here. This is just to get us to where we need to be for now. Obviously, we're gonna come back in and weld the whole thing in. But I'm not super confident this is the final resting place of the mount. That's why we're doing it this way. All right, that's in there nice and tight. We can now continue to work on the mount, the adapter plate for the two mounts. Motor's where we want it to be. Mount's pretty close. We're gonna push forward with making the, uh, the adapter plate. And there we go. And we will tack this in place right here. All right, guys. So this is the, the mount that we bought. This is the engine side. This is an L bracket that we've made. We have one point of attachment. We have two points of attachment. The center part is just going to bolt the whole assembly together. And to fill in the space between here and here and here and here, we have this steel tube sleeve. We're gonna cut one piece down to two and an eighth inch to be over here to fill this in. And then we're gonna cut another piece down to an inch and three sixteenths on this side to fill it in. We'll weld this whole assembly together and that will be our combining bracket to get the two pieces together. And we should have this mostly mocked up. All right, so I told you I was gonna start making the A to B portion of that, but I didn't do that. Instead, I saw the opportunity to do more cutting. So we're going, we're going forward with that. This is a generic aluminum mount that I ordered. I don't know what it's used for in a real world scenario. This is gonna be our transmission side mount now. So we're gonna cut a hole in the bed, same size as the bottom of this. This will actually go down through the bed and it'll tie into the transmission. It's really the best way that I've seen to get to those bolts. Otherwise trying to go over and around the bed was gonna be like a snaky bracket that I don't wanna make. We're gonna cut this bad boy down, cut that off, cut that off. This will rest on the bed. We'll weld that in all the way around. Have a very similar setup to the one that we just did. And as always, it's never a bad time to use an angle grinder. I 
I bet it still don't go. <laughs> Might not. I mean, until those threads are. Yeah, I think right. I'm gonna have to drill through these threads. Keep some pressure on it now. Hey! Look at that. What's in there? We did. All right. Obviously, super temporary. We're gonna have all of that welded in at the end, but we're getting ahead, putting a couple of things in place. We got a little wiggle room. Like I said, it's Monday. I was out here Saturday and Sunday. This truck just kicked the crap out of me. Everything I thought I knew I was gonna do, out the window. A couple of holes in the truck bed and some self-tappers and some cheap eBay motor mounts in the back. That's all right with me. I'm, I'm really excited to see this. The, uh, the transmission on this other side right here is very, very close to the wheel well, like striking the tire close. And obviously it's not a real big surprise that this big motor going in this little truck is going to have fitment issues. So we're going to have to figure that out. But we're going to move the engine that way as far as we can. I think we only got like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half before we're actually into the frame rail of the little truck. But that's going to, every little bit counts. That's what she said. <laughs> and we're going to go back towards the back a little bit too. So that's going to also help us center up the axle where it comes out, tries to center to where the stock wheel positioning was. So that's our goal immediately is to get that moved and we're wanting to start making the rear motor mount. We're really close, I feel. Probably Saturday now. We work all day today. We got a good half day on Sunday we can get in. We can get really close this weekend to getting these mounts made. And after we get the mounts made, the motor is obviously gonna be sitting in place. Immediately after that, we're gonna start working on making this a roller again. I don't wanna say the hard work's done after that because it's not the hard work is not done after that, but I'm going to be feeling a lot better about the build when we have this motor bolted in and then this little truck rolls around on its own again. So stay tuned, that's what we're gonna get at. All right, we're actually gonna start on the transmission side. I'm gonna be using whoop, this guy right here. Let's see if you can see it to span over those two large bolt holes. One's a little bit lower, come on. You can see one's a little bit lower, so we'll have to do a little steel sleeve there, and weld it to the bottom of that plate, and we'll get that made. And then from there, we'll work our way over and up to connect to the bottom of this mount right here. All right, so we have, that's gonna be center of both the holes. And now we'll do a quick measurement to see where they lay coming from the other side. We'll mark that point on this side. Then we'll run a line straight across and where those two lines intersect is where our hole goes. All right. All right, so we measured the first hole out to be about an inch and an eighth in. All right, there. And then, all right there. Right at the center is gonna be our first hole. So we're gonna do a very small pilot hole in this piece. Make sure we're somewhat close to where we wanna fall. And then once we make sure we're center of that point, then we'll connect these two points to make sure that it actually makes sense before we go too far with this. All right, the hole is drilled. Let's see how we did. Poke this through there. 
see if it drops down into the bolt hole. This would be a lot easier if the motor wasn't in underneath the truck, but I'm not taking it out again. I think you've only seen me do it like once or twice on camera, but I've had this thing in and out of here like 10 times at least right now. So no, nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope. And that lands exactly where we want it to. All right, so now we're just gonna mark the second hole, repeat the process. So I'm very torn with my camera angle. I don't know if I should be filming me or if I should be filming the activity. I'm assuming the activity, but uh, I can't really drill like this. So here we go. Always remember to keep your bit cool and lubricated. We did it. Note to self, buy a cheap drill press. It will pay for itself very quickly. So I'm sitting here just drilling this hole out bigger and bigger and bigger. And I would like to say, I do miss my lovely assistant Adam right now. Working on the truck is fun, but having your buddy here, a little banter, a little smack talking is a good time. And I can smack talk my dog, but she just looks at me like I'm a jerk. I really hope Adam comes soon. Also note to self, get a vise. I need one very badly. I took one of these to the nuts last week when it bit and whoosh, wasn't a good time. So the end goal here, VTEC solenoid up into this cubby. And this is a pinch weld right here for the frame. So that's as far as we can go without actually getting into the frame. And we have to cut out this little section to receive the engine mount right there and that's going to get us all the way up against the frame rail here unfortunately i got a little ahead of myself and cut this hole for the motor mount to receive down in there but we can always clean that up later and that's what we'll have to do and there's the little adapter bracket that i made i need to clean that up too to get from a to b so let's get into some more grinding all right guys i know it's tough to see but that is absolutely as far as you can take the bed out before you hit the frame rail i will have to tack weld that piece back together because that was a i guess a pinch weld is what you would call it technically but that is flush with the frame rail and it is notched so once i move it all into place this pulley system this motor mount it'll all clear when the motor torques. We're gonna go ahead and mock this back up with our little homemade adapter bracket and our motor mount after we get it slid into place. And that will get us as far to the back of the bed and as far to the frame rail as humanly possible with the K24. And once again, that's going to assist us in getting the axle as close to center. And I'm using this little nub bump out on the frame right there as a reference to my center mark. If you take a walk outside with me, fortunately for me, I am not at a lack of Honda Acti trucks. So I'm using this guy out here as a reference point. And if you look on him, see the little bump out? Going a little further back wouldn't be horrible, but we are at our limits. So that's what we're gonna do. That's all we can do. And everything else is just gonna have to fit accordingly. Today we're tackling the rear mount of the truck. So we'll be going from behind and underneath the intake manifold and tying into the back of the truck underneath. There is a little support bar for the bed that runs up underneath the base. That's what we're gonna be tying into. This is what I got so far. This part will actually be welded into the chassis. These drops connect to our motor mount. And then this, we're gonna find a creative way to actually tie into the block. We're gonna get on welding this together right now. All right, so our tacks are in, it's staying together. This is about the height that it needs to be at for the drop. It's actually upside down right now. This is gonna be on the truck side. That'll be dropping down to the engine. We are going to measure out to six and three quarters from the base of that 
to that center hole. And wherever that falls, we will drill a hole in the side. <laughs> Don't mind my little um, practice weld. We're running out of materials and I didn't feel like leaving. And that's not gonna be seen. And even if I do see it, it'll make me smile because that was my little practice weld from when I first got my gas hook up on my welder and was dialing it in. So that's good memories for me. But there's a center hole for that mount. We'll punch that hole out through both sides. We'll run our bolt in there. And eventually, not right now, that lower plate is gonna be welded into the chassis and that'll be a permanent fixture in there. And we'll keep pushing forward to connect to the engine. For now, this is what we got. This is mocked up pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and attach this to the truck. I was lucky enough that there were actually two 10 millimeter bolt holes in the chassis. There's the two holes at the bottom. So temporarily I can bolt this into the truck and then work out my distances and make sure this is actually going to do what I need it to do before I go any further and further support this, actually weld into the chassis. That's what we're gonna do next. Gives me the ability to still move this up and down, back and forth a little bit. I have my center hole punched, but that doesn't have to be that way. So this is what we got so far. This is the beginning of our rear mount and we're gonna go ahead and get this in the chassis and then begin working off the back of the engine to this guy. You gotta get all that PPE on there, man. Safety first. Safety first. Are we live? We're live. Oh, we're, we're live. We're all safety right. third, you know? Safety third. At least in the top three, you know? Safety's up there. That's why I like to weld in slides with socks on. Yeah. Because of safety. So I know this episode's dragging on forever. This is gonna be the last day of filming for this. What you're gonna see in this episode is the rough end of the motor mounts. Motor's gotta come back out to do all that. We are gonna dive into that. Today we're gonna finish the rough mounts. Make sure the motor just stays in there so I can turn this thing back into a roller. We have two weeks until Driver Motorsports. We have to make this thing a roller again. We're gonna trailer it down there in its current form, put it on display beside Josh's truck. And then once that shows over, we're gonna bring it back and we're gonna continue pushing forward to getting it done. So this is technically just rough in on motor mounts. I'll pull them out at some point for powder coating. We're gonna add more support to the motor mounts, but for now, this is what we have time to do. All right, we finally finished up the roughing of the mounts. This is the transmission side. This drops from A to B. This is for the cam gear side. It connects A to B. This is the chassis for the back. And then this is the adapter plate that runs from the back of the engine to the chassis. These are our three points of attachment that we're gonna be running for now. We're gonna go ahead and sandblast these, get them powder coated, the powder coat will clean them up. And then we can finally get everything bolted in and be finished with these motor mounts for the time being. We're just creating a roller at this point. We may redo some of these mounts in the future, but for now, this is what we got and this is what we're gonna push forward with. Powder coating's done, all the ugly welds are hidden. This is a uh, silver artery. It's really, really nice. It's really, really textured. And you don't have to worry about showing any of your flaws with it. So here's final look at the mounts that we've made before the final one goes in and bolts in. The transmission side is bolted in top and bottom. This side's bolted in top and bottom. Let me get underneath there, get this one put in. And then we will come back and we'll use our plasma cutter to cut down some quarter inch steel and build it up high enough to fill in the gap between the low points of the bed. On both sides, we will weld that to that mount and we'll finally take these jacks out from underneath and be done. All right, now we will be using our plasma cutter. We're gonna cut some thin strips of this quarter inch still. This is gonna be filler pieces for the low points of the bed in between those points and the motor mounts that we purchased. 
We're going to fill those in, have it be complete still from top to bottom. We'll tack weld those in to three or four places for the time being. We're not going to fully dedicate ourselves until we get the rear end. As promised, we have the K-Swap fully supported by itself. That jack stand you see under the transmission is actually holding the truck up. It's beyond the transmission. We are officially holding our own. We have some small tack welds actually holding the mounts in, making sure that that's exactly where we want to be. But this is it. This has been a few weekends worth of uh, do-it-yourself fabrication work. You can see the little motor mount down in there. But this is something I'm very proud of. I'm very happy. Fully self-supported K24 in the back of the little truck. We're even at a good alignment point where the axles are gonna come in. All right, so that's it for episode three. Motor mounts, truck, motor, as a team. Tell me what you guys thought about the footage. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you didn't like it. What could I do better? What could I do worse? We have this little motor sitting in this truck all by itself. No more supports, no more zip ties, no more ratchet straps, nothing like that at all. We got this thing tack welded in. This is where we want it to be. Next episode, we're going to show you some pretty stuff. Hopefully get this rear end back and get it mocked up in place. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Chris Kirby, Best Damn Powder Coating in St. Imports. See you next time.